Glory to God. I want you to give thanks to him because you have your expected end. You have your expected end. You have your expected end. Give him thanks. Give him thanks. Reka papu skufri itzaka dushka balia. Zaraka papu skufri ipa puskuri yade. Arika papu skufri ipa skura kaliase. Azangaria papu skufri ipa puskufri kapuskananda. Arika papu skufa. Reba puskura akataski and ukumba. Father, we thank you. We bless your name. Thank you for the 24 hour miracles. Thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you, Jesus. We appreciate you. Take all the glory, Jehovah. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. All right. We're going to the devotion, but don't forget, this week, God wants you to reach out to three people that are yet to come into intimacy and introduce them to intimacy. All right? Intimacy with God, coming close to fellowship, to be God's companion. Very important. The father-child relationship is what God wants with every one of his children. He wants them to be able to hear his voice and fellowship with him. That's what God wants you to introduce to somebody this week. Three of them. Just do it. Some amazing things are happening. He hasn't told me about any blessing attached, but you just be obedient. If The word of God already said that if you are willing and obedient, you will hit the good of the land. Hallelujah. So make sure you get into it. Bring them into intimacy. If you want to know how to do that, we'll help you. All right? We'll help you. So look out for some details on our WhatsApp groups particularly. And then I think on Facebook we can post some things that you can always check. So check back on Facebook for some materials. The Lord bless you. Uh, today we want to look at love. Um, the love of God is one of the things that uh, it's primary in our work with God. Jesus gave us a command that we should love one another as he has loved us. You understand? Then when uh, John the Apostle is the apostle of love because he's the one that has... In fact, John, you know, has the greatest revelation of love and life. And that's why when he was introducing Jesus, they didn't introduce him from his physical uh, uh, ancestry or ancestors. He introduced him from the spiritual. And that is very important. In 1 John chapter 4, verse, five, verse 7, he said, Beloved, let us love one another, for love is of God, and everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. So the instruction is let us love people. Listen, when you walk in love, it puts you above. Now, some of the acts of love, attributes of love, behavior of love may look like you are playing what we in Nigeria is called mumu. But I tell you, it puts you above. It puts you above. Remember what he said before I go on. We're still coming back to that first John 4. Before I go on. In Galatians in chapter 5. Galatians chapter 5. In verse 22 and 23. He said, but the fruit of the Spirit is love, joy, peace, long-suffering, gentleness, goodness, faith, meekness, temperance. Against such, I've emphasized this again and again. Against such, there is no law. There is no law that can subjugate love. There is no law that can arrest love. There is no law that can oppress love. That was why Apostle John himself, the apostle of love, the story about him is fantastic. They tried to kill him, they couldn't. They couldn't pierce him with the sword. They couldn't cut his head off. They tried to boil him in boiling oil. The oil cooled down. So they just banished him to the island of Patmos. And what happened there? Because love cannot be stopped. He received the entire book of Revelation, the closing of the scriptures, in that place that they banished him to. Why? Love is indestructible. Love is unbeatable. That's why when you choose the, 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 the way of love, you have, you, have, you have not only chosen what is your nature, you have actually chosen the victorious way. 
Remember that even our faith works in the atmosphere of love. So love is very important. Choose the love way every time. Don't choose. You know, the world will tell us all kind of funny ways to behave. All those things are just rubbish. Absolute nonsense and rubbish. Eh? You are supposed to do like this. This is this. You will just be doing this. The, their wisdom, what has it done for them? What has their own wisdom done for them? Has their wisdom been able to create a planet? And you now want to contest with the wisdom of the Almighty God that spoke the stars into existence. So, 1 John chapter 4, verse 7, back there. He said, beloved, let us love one another. So it's that instruction. Love, especially the saints. Show love to the saints. And let me tell you something, you know, which is something that is, you know, <laughs> that we all face. The saints that the Bible says you should love first. I mean, God wants us to love everybody, but especially the saints. If you look at them, um, same Galatians, I think in chapter six now, let's look at it. Because you see why he said, especially the saints, you know, the people who are saved, the people who are born again. You understand? Love everybody. Yes. God wants us to show love to even our enemies. Jesus said, love your enemies. Do good to them that hate you. Pray for them that despitefully use you and persecute you. All right? Then in Galatians in chapter 6, when he was speaking about um, uh, doing good and all that, he says something that is very, very, very powerful. Verse 9. and at, Yes, verse 9. And 10. Let us not be weary in well-doing, for in due season we shall reap, if we faint not. As, therefore, as we have therefore opportunity. Opportunity means you see somebody in need around you. Like this week, we have to give to the needy. And so we're going to do that. And if you have not given your own needy seed, make sure you do it. All right? So, he said, as we have opportunity, this is an opportunity this week now to be a blessing to some, some people in need. Let us do good unto all men. Somebody is in need of a shirt. You have some extra shirts you are not using. Please give. Give, give, give. Be good to all men. Then he now said, especially unto them who have the household of it. So, when he's saying walk in love, that's why he started with, let us love one another. We, the believers, we should love one another. We should have serious and deep love for one another. All right? And this love is the agape love of God. The love that loves you unconditionally, that cares for you unconditionally, that ministers to you unconditionally. All right? That's the true love. So let us love one another. For love is of God. All right? Love flows from God. If you are a child of God, you already love. You just need to allow your nature to manifest. That contrary nature that you are trying to manifest is not your own. It's in the flesh. And that's the one that the Bible said must die. How will it die? When you choose the way of love, it dies. When you pray, it dies. When you spend time in, with God in the koinonia, it doubles that. It double dies. <laughs> when you read the scriptures, it dies. He keeps dying until he's dead. You understand? That's it. The flesh keeps dying until he's dead. Once you continue to show love, once you continue to spend time in the communion, once you continue to pray and read scriptures, the flesh dies. And everyone that loveth is born of God and knoweth God. So he's saying very clearly to us that the way we will know that somebody is born of God is check his love life. Now, we know some people are born of God who are not walking in love. And it's not that they are not born of God, but they are not manifesting like God. They are what Paul said, canal. They still like canal things, do canal, behave canally. Paul called them babes. Apostle John, the apostle of Lord, called them little children. So if you are not walking in love, you are a little child in the faith. Whether you have been there for 30 years, or you've been saved for 20 years, you're a little child if you can't walk in love. Yes, I'm anointed. You pray, they, everywhere is shaking. The Bible said that if you have faith that can move mountains, and you can do all miracles, and you don't have love, he said you are nothing. 
You are a baby. Wake up. Grow up. That's what he's saying. That's the scriptures for us. Everyone that loves is of God. And knows God. So if you spend time in koinonia, and you are spending time with God, and you are not seeing your love life growing, your koinonia is not correct. Something is wrong there. I'm telling you, if you are growing really in the koinonia, it will reflect in your love life. Your love life will keep increasing, will keep getting better, will keep, you know, you see it there, growing, glowing, manifesting more. God wants us to walk in love. Choose the way of love. When situations happen, choose love. Don't choose flesh. Don't choose darkness. Choose love. Let us pray. Pray and say, Father, I choose love today in the name of Jesus. Pray in the Holy Ghost. Arika papuskufri imprayanda kalusko to kom papuskufia pesi zianza raba puskufri epapisko kaliyanto skanamba in Jesus mighty name we are pray somebody's thumb is hurting receive healing in that thumb now in the name of Jesus I use my thumb as a point of contact receive healing there now in the name of Jesus. Declare it and type it in the comment. I receive healing. I have healing in my thumb in the name of Jesus. Let's do our confession. Remember, we don't speak what we are going through. We speak where we are going to. And we speak where we are going to as if we are already there. Are you ready? Say with me. Say, in the name of Jesus, I am a new creation in Christ Jesus. The old things have passed away. All things are new in my life. Yes, I've been washed with the washing of regeneration and renewing of the Holy Ghost. Therefore, my body, organs and systems, bones and genes and cells, genes and DNA cannot be corrupted, deformed or defiled by any force or any system. The Spirit of God pours life into my body. Therefore, sickness is swallowed up. Corruption is swallowed up. The flesh with his loss and affections, are swallowed up. Yes, death is swallowed up in the name of Jesus. I live in sound health. I walk in life. I walk in holiness. I walk in purity in the name of Jesus. I am the blessed of the Lord, empowered to prosper. The Lord has supplied for all my needs according to his riches in glory by Christ. I have the power to get wealth. Therefore, I prosper in all that I do in the name of Jesus. I am highly favored everywhere I turn. I'm favored of God for the sweet ointment of Jesus is upon me. My name and presence, thoughts about me are as ointment poured forth. And so men support me, help me and work for me in the name of Jesus. I and all that are mine, we dwell in God's secret place under God's shadow. The Lord is around us as a wall of fire. Therefore, no evil can befall us. No plague can come near us in the name of Jesus. I declare today, I am head and never tail and from above. I am born of God. God is love. I am love. I walk in love. God is holy. I am holy. I walk in purity. God is righteous. I am the righteousness of God. I am meek and lowly in heart. I have rest in my soul. I am the meek that inherits the earth in the name of Jesus. I declare today that the Lord is with me. My home is blessed. My children are blessed. Everything I do is blessed in the name of Jesus. I enjoy unhindered access to God. I fellowship with him. I hear his voice. I have conversations with him every day. I engage his presence. I retain his presence. I'm a carrier of the presence of God. In the name of Jesus, I am blessed. I manifest like Christ in character, in power, in wisdom, and in presence. In Jesus' name. Now open your mouth and decree 
for the day. What do you want today to be like? Open your mouth and decree, 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 decree. Arapa puskufi and peseri kotushka. Azizasa papu kodovre. I'll pray for you. Just decree how you want your day to be today. Decree. Call it as if it has already happened. Aruko papusko fri empesko rakanda. Arika papusko fri epepesko tani kalanzo. Araba pusko fi apeske di kalasi. Araka pambongo rigananto. Arape pesko fi abaranda. Geske askadu komamba. In Jesus' mighty name, we are prayed. You are blessed. I'm blessed. I'm blessed. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Glory to God. Amen.